What is up guys and welcome back to Animation Station. Today we are addressing yet another question that was posed uh, to the channel and that was how to use colorized mask for multiple frames. So we're on scene 21 uh, and I'm just going to press play so you guys see what we're actually working with here. So Lolo is pressing the buttons and pulling down a lever to let the inspector into the door. Um, you'll notice the first couple frames have no color. So if we just pause it there, uh, this is what we're going to be coloring in. So we're going to use the colorized mask to color in these uh, frames these first ones. I'm going to show you how I do it. I have briefly showed it to you guys before but I've never done a video uh, specifically on it so that's what we're going to do today. The very first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you are on the line work. So everything that we're dealing with is in these four layers and they are green so I've highlighted them green so that we can keep an eye on those four. Uh, you want to make sure that the line is selected anytime you're using the colorized mask. That will tell Creed that you are only coloring in these lines okay so you only want the line work selected if you select fill or detail it will not work so once you're in the uh, up at the line work you want to right click and then just say um, add colorize mask as you can see I have a, uh, a hyperlink or a quick uh, link for it shift a so that's what I would press so I just press shift a it would open up the colorize mask and it automatically selects the colorized mask as well. But you'll see this little down arrow here. This means that the colorized mask is actually opened under the line layer. That's very important uh, because if it's not selected, it will not work. So let's go ahead and grab our color. So we're going to go forward here and we're going to use our eye drop tool and we're going to grab this gray color. As you can see, it is grabbing that color. I also have it saved up here on the right in my palette here as well. So we're going to go back to the beginning frame. Now that we have our color, we're going to change back to our brush. I have a, uh, a button for the brush on my tablet, but you can always go up here and select the brush, which is already highlighted. And we're just going to put an X right there. So that X is telling Krita that we want to color in the, everything in in, inside of these lines that color. Okay. Now what I normally do is I actually just go ahead and remove the background uh, because actually it can complica complicate things sometimes. Then you want to grab any random color, doesn't matter what random color it is. I'm going to go with this purple here, and we're just going to put a big X here uh, for the canvas, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to go up to this top part here where it says Colorize Mask. You're going to select that. This is the Colorize Mask tool. When you select the Colorize Mask tool, it will automatically open on the right-hand side. If it doesn't open on the right hand side, it means that your tool options is not a docker that you have selected. If your tool options is not a docker, you have to go up to settings and you got to go to dockers and you have to actually check it off. So you go all the way down here to tool options and it has to have a check mark. If you have that already selected and set up, you'll see that it records whatever colors you use there. Uh, in in order. So if I used orange, it now records orange. If I use yellow, it now records yellow. Okay, so we'll take away the last two there. I'm just doing control uh, Z and we want to actually select the purple and we want to click on this transparent button. What that tells Krita is anything that we have told with that color as in the canvas. So basically, if we don't select this, it's going to color the entire canvas this um, uh, color. What we've told Krita is that we want this to be transparent. So anything that this touches must be transparent. Okay, and that's it. We're just going to hit the render button just like so. And there you go. So it has rendered our uh, color fill just for this selection here. It has not done anything else. And if you use click on this little marker option, it will show you uh, in real time what it looks like. If you click on it again, it means that you can go ahead and edit that colorized mask, okay? So once that's done, all I do now is I convert this colorized mask to a regular layer. And in order to do that, you would just right click, you would go down to convert, 
and you say convert to paint layer. As you can see, this is what I would select. I would just uh, use shift C. That's what I normally use. Uh, and you can change that to whatever you'd like in the settings of Krita as well. So now that that is a regular paint layer, you'll see it down here on the left. All right, so we've always seen it here on the left, but now it's a regular paint layer. So what you want to do now is you want to add a layer. So I would just hit the D button for duplicate, or you would go up and select this just like that. And you'll see that it actually adds a frame, sorry. So it adds a frame here. And then what I do is I take that frame and I drag it all the way down to my fill. So I've already labeled a fill. So now that that has been dragged to the fill mark, I can go ahead and get rid of the colorized mask completely, okay? And what we do is we repeat this process for the rest of the frames. So you'll notice right away, if we move on to the next frame, our color is still showing. And that's because we haven't gone down to the fill and added a new frame here. If you add a new frame or a blank frame here, that fill will be gone, okay? So we continue that. So I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit so that you guys can get the hang of it. What we do is we go to our line work, we press shift, a uh, on your computer is going to be different for whatever you've uh, used for your quick link here for the colorized mask. Once we do that, we grab our color, which is up here in the gray. We just select that, grab our, our, our pinkish there, select that, and then grab our brush tool. It's going to show up on the right hand side, hit transparent, then render, and it's going to automatically color in that and remember all the lines have to be closed right so you can't have any open gaps on your lines or it won't work and we've discussed that in the past as well so now that the colorized mask has done its job i just press shift c it converts it to a paint layer once it's converted to a paint layer it automatically is going to be where i'm working so i press d for duplicate anytime you hit duplicate it's going to add uh, the original which is here at the end and it's going to add the duplicate which is the frame you're working with don't matter it doesn't matter because we're getting rid of the colorized mask so you just drag down the one that you're using and you drag it down to the fill after that you go to the next one hit n for new and then you can get rid of that colorized mask it all re it already is selected so then we continue that so that's the second one done already now we're on to the third motion so as you can see here we've got two colored in now we go to the third one and it looks complicated at first but the more you get used to it, the easier it becomes. So let's go back and do it again. We're gonna do all these. So uh, we're gonna select the line work, gonna hit our quick link there for the colorized mask. We're gonna grab our colors, just put this here for gray, and then here, transparent, and then render, just like so. After we're done, shift C, and that's just gonna change it to a paint layer. Go down here, hit D for duplicate, drag that down to our fill, which we've already created, and delete. And as you can see, if you get the hang of this, it gets extremely quick. So we're adding in our new frame under the fill to get rid of the, the, uh, the old fill. And then we're gonna do it again. So we go back up to our line, Shift A, grab our color here and here. Make that one transparent. Hit the render button. There it goes. There you go. Shift C, just like so. And then down back down here to colorize mask. I press D for duplicate layer. And then I get rid of the colorized mask. Enter in a new frame for the next one. Go back up to our line, make sure that's selected. And the same thing. Gonna bring in our colorized mask, grab our colors, and I'm doing this because I did notice that last time I showed this, somebody said that it's a very long process. Honestly, the thing I can say uh, to that is, if you, it, animation isn't a quick process it, to begin with. Um, so you do have to have some sort of patience. So I would say that this is definitely easier than going in and coloring the hand in uh, every single time, absolutely. So it's quicker and it, it, it is easier. So we're back up on our line work. We're gonna press our colorized mask in here, grab our colors once again, and transparent, and we just hit render. And if you've looked at my animations, it's mostly just my newer stuff, you'll notice that I use this all the time. 
um, it's it's just great it just makes things super easy so back with our colorized mask there and we're just going to hit d for duplicate here drag that frame down and get rid of that new frame and as you can see we are literally almost done we only need two more so we're going to go up grab our uh, colors here make sure your brush is selected here and then we're going to go to this one here so yeah another thing too is that you'll notice that i i did it just now and i didn't have the colorized mask open so you, you can see it's easy to make a mistake uh, so you always want to keep your eye on things there and everything in krita is fixable right so uh, let's go there click on that make that transparent render that out perfect and then shift c and d for duplicate drag it down to our fill layer which we've created colorize mask we can get rid of and we're on the last one so you can see how easy this is we're gonna do it one last time together and as always guys if you have any questions at all uh, make sure to leave them in the comments so that i can address them uh, the more you know the easier Krita will become and it will become more fun as well because it is a free program um, there is no subscription fees uh, which makes it really really fun uh, especially because most of the time we're doing animation just for the love of doing it right okay that's it so now that we have all them colored what i would do next is i would do the detail so i would click on this detail layer and I would go back and I would actually enter in a bunch of new frames in each one of these boxes here. And then I'd look at one that's already filled. I would select this color. So as you can see, the detail is a lighter brush color. And I'll just scroll down there, make that a little less. And I would go in and I would just detail these a little bit just to uh, bring it to life. Of course, there's gonna be a little bit of light shining on the thumb or the finger or anything that uh, is here. You could even uh, just literally just outline it like this, as easy as that. Now, most light comes from the top, not really down here, but just as, just for effect so I can show you guys uh, how easy it is to finish this little bit of animation. And the more animation you do, the easier it becomes. Uh, and the more fun it is when you see everything come to fruition together because basically you have this idea in your head of what you want to do and uh, then it comes to life once you get it down uh, in paper. And like I tell everybody, and I know I say this a lot on the channel, but it's always good to um, to basically uh, uh, create some sort of sequence so none of your work goes to waste. Uh, especially if you're doing a storyline uh, that makes it more fun as well so you can see here that the colorized mask mix it actually missed here because i forgot to put a dot or a selection there that's easy all you do is you go down to the fill all right because remember the fill is what what filled in the the glove right so you're going to go down to your fill select your color go back up make it a little bit smaller here and we're just going to fill that in just like that by hand okay now let's go back to detail and let's get our color back as well, this light one. And as you can see, it takes no time at all to do this. There we go. Nice, Oop. go to the line there. And that's it, okay? So let's bring everything back and let's hit play on that and just see what it looks like. And let's narrow this down uh, to 110 so that it loops a little bit better. And play, there we go. Perfect. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Looks like we have some uh, touching up to do on the detail of the glove when it passes through the middle. Um, I just haven't gotten to that yet, uh, so I will do that. And that's it, okay? So that's how you use the colorized mask to color in multiple frames. Uh, you do have to get used to it. Once you do, it becomes very, very easy. Uh, like I said before, this is a free program, Krita is, uh, and I think it's very powerful and it's very fun to use, okay? 
All right, guys, that's it for today. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like this sort of stuff, uh, and especially if you love animation. <laughs> you guys take care. Enjoy your day. Cheers. Bye.